Runway Gen 2 just got a huge new update on the AI video model. There were a lot of issues with video consistency and sharpness of detail in the previous version, so let's do a before and after comparison to see if the new update has fixed those issues and whether it's worth paying for now. We'll animate many types of scenes from human motions to landscapes, test out the new camera motions, and do a prompt check to see if the natural language understanding has improved. Spoiler alert, the new model has better quality, but comes with new limitations too. Let's start simple by animating this image of a ballet dancer. The previous runway model generates good body motion in the arms and hips, although the head is blurred and loses the shape of a human face. The camera also pans cinematically around the dancer. Let's see what the new model gets us. Okay, maybe we got unlucky. Let's turn up the motion slider all the way. The most obvious difference is that human motions in the new model are more limited. The facial features and details on the clothing and body are much sharper than before though. And don't distort from the reference image as much as in the previous model. Extending the video in the new model, warping of the human anatomy still occurs, although it's better than before. We'll come back to human animations later. For now, let's try out some more varieties of image animations. I animated this ship at sea with a previous runway model. The waves don't look very realistic, the details aren't sharp, and there's a beam of light flashing through the background, which happen a lot in outdoor videos. The new model has water effects that look much more clean and realistic, at least in the foreground. There could be better wave movement in the background though. The new model remains much more faithful to the original reference image and overall maintains a higher level of detail, although that does degrade as the video goes on. The old Gen 2 model blurred image details and there wasn't as much consistency frame by frame as there is in the new model. The new dragon animation on the right looks crisp and mostly maintains the quality of the image throughout. Human motions are the biggest limitation in AI video right now. It's extremely difficult to train an AI to generate human anatomy correctly. The old Gen 2 model produced some really nice looking motions from time to time. Even though it would distort the subjects from the reference image quite a bit, the new model however shifts away from generating dynamic movements and focuses more on maintaining coherency between frames. In other words, the new AI generates less human and camera motion as before and instead focuses on upgrading the level of detail and keeping the images from frame to frame more consistent with each other. I can understand why they need to shift in this direction, since using runway is expensive and in the old version many videos were unusable due to the level of distortion and changes in colors, geometry, and subject matter between video frames. However, I really hope they don't give up on generating realistic and action-packed video sequences because ultimately, that's what will take AI filmmaking to the next level. When it comes to landscapes, the new AI model is definitely better. Look at this creek. The old model produced a bit of camera panning, but there isn't any real animation, it's just a still image. The new model brings the scene to life, with water flowing in the creek and leaves blown in the wind. You can even see some shadows flashing near the trees on the left. While the new runway model isn't 100% realistic, it's way better than before. Environmental effects like fire also improved. On the left, you can't see any real flames blown in the fire. The camera pans a bit to give the illusion of motion, but the actual background is static. On the right, the flames and smoke cloud rises as you'd expect, and the sparks float around a bit. When it comes to camera motions in the new model, the results were mixed. In fact, I think the old model was better. Take this video zooming in on a hiker in a forest. The old video is grainy, but the person walks forward and the camera follows them. The new video, however, doesn't have any motion. The person remains static and the trees spread apart. It kind of just looks like a cheap cap cut editor effect. The same can be said for zooming out. The old runway has way better animation. The new model doesn't inject as much creativity into the videos as before, and in return is able to remain more consistent throughout, but it somehow feels less lively. As far as prompt understanding goes, I'd say the results are about the same as before the update. Although to be fair, Runway always did a pretty good job of interpreting your prompts, even in the previous version. If you look carefully at the videography of these comparisons though, you'll notice that in the new version, the camera moves way less and remains fairly static. You'll have to use the camera motions feature if you want movement. This is actually a good thing because you have more control over the videos generated by the model, so credits don't get wasted. 
So Runway decided to trade off flexibility and creativity for quality and consistency in their new model. While I can understand why, I do hope they bring back some of the cinematic and dynamic movements that made them stand out so much in the first place. If you want to generate the most realistic human motion in AI videos, take a look at my video guide on Moon Valley AI, which is a pretty incredible free AI video generator. Also, make sure to subscribe and I'll keep you updated on the latest tech.